Uh, okay, this is gonna be a really short uh, video also. I saw some GIFs on Twitter about the cool feature. Um, so Campbell Barton is doing a lot of like um, uh, updates and coding on the um, uh, mesh. So that's great to see that is um, he's starting to uh, contribute contribute again to Blender because. Uh, as I understood, he was uh, like the main guy behind uh, B-Mesh. Um, but anyways, um, one thing is gone, the manipulator uh, doesn't show up anymore, so maybe it's also getting a lot of updates. Um, I don't uh, actually... Wait, I could see it in my previous video, so maybe it's something... Okay, um, anyway, I don't know why it's gone now. I'm, I can, I'm gonna try and restart Blender. Okay, so now I have the, the manipula uh, manipulator back. So yeah, this this is kind of updated and looks nice. The only thing I would like to see is uh, if you check out here in the header, when you rotate, you can see the degrees and stuff. Also, I think um, yeah, you can see that I'm going into like trackball rotation, and if I constrain an axis, it says that like rotation uh, this much degree along global x, local x. Anyway, what I would like to see uh, would be cool if you could uh, get like um, the rotation value uh, here in the center as close to the manipulator as possible. I think that would help a lot. So you know if like I rotate this much, it's uh, 60 degrees. Um, especially if like you do stuff like that repeating. Um, but we have some other cool stuff also. So one thing um, I used to like, okay, go into ortho. Is this uh, all alt R, um, which um, rotates around the three D cursor? So <coughs> if you want to use it, you have. Uh, there was a lot of like um, I can use this a lot. Uh, snap uh, cursor to selected, or maybe move it out a bit to get something like uh, really correct <laughs> I used to do like this extrude this constrain ag along an axis and then snap the cursor Whoa. I shouldn't have run that on but on these guys so but anyways with this new one you don't have to do anything like that um, we actually have some kind of more visual helpers now. So you have this and it's um, it's like left click, not right click to select. Right click are mostly to cancel any tools. So you can place this uh, pivot point ever anywhere you want. And you can, um, oh it's that one, rotate. So yeah, that would be kind of nice if they had uh, different colors and maybe some kind of explanation like which one is actually uh, moving uh, but I guess it's like really early so uh, this one could actually be access that would be cool oh the, it is access but just an arrow okay but anyway all this can this stuff uh, is really nice to see and uh, I really hope Campbell get as much time possible as we want to do this uh, work on the, um, the like the mesh modeler because it seems like he likes that and uh, all the stuff so far looks amazing it's gonna be much much more fun to uh, model when you have this like visual helpers um, yeah that's it